But pretty soon, Juarez is going to have to go to war. Copy box numbers in six. Juarez, 20 out of 54. Soto, 27 out of 93 thrown punches. Harold, how do you have it through six? Okay, Jim. 59, 55, five rounds to one, Umberto Soto. Jimmy, I gave the fifth round to Rocky Juarez because Umberto Soto let him inside. In other words, he didn't keep him on the end of that gym. And that's where Rocky's got to be the score. He has to be right where he is now, in close to get off the power shots. But basically, for five out of these six rounds, Umberto Soto's walking him down, keeping him on the end of the jab, which is great ring general sickles, as I said before, and scoring the cleaning shots. 5-1 Soto. Well, even though Soto Simmons is winning the fight, he's still got to stay alert. Tim Adams says this isn't a knockdown. I'm not sure why Soto went to his knees. I guess it was a slip. trying to put a little extra into that left hook. Yeah, I'm like a lot of big punches. They, they push and power fades as the fight wears on, but both of these guys are still punching with full power, and in particular Juarez, even though he's maybe losing and he's getting tired, his, his punching power still is extremely good. Juarez has had some late round knockouts, so too has Soto. Good body shot by Juarez. Soto strafing him upstairs. Stop it. Okay? Stop it. Stay there. Same here. You're retaliating. Stop in the back of the head, okay? That's two warnings apiece, okay? Turn back in. Two Stop. warnings apiece for hitting in the back of the head. I didn't catch the first round of warnings on that. The brawl is beginning. And even though it's probably necessary for Rocky Juarez at this point, the first exchange belonged to Soto. Even though they're brawling, they're both still punching with full power with both hands. You know, a lot of times you got to get in exchanges, but they don't have that much power in them. Both of these guys are punching with knockouts in each blow. How many times have you seen it? Oh the guy prepares for a name fighter and gets somebody else, and it isn't the same. He's not ready. Rocky Juarez has had tremendous difficulty with Humberto Sono, who was thrown in with 13 but, days ago. Juarez has landed his big punches there. He got his big right hand in. Soto's still standing there, and now a giant left hook by Juarez. And now Juarez has a chance. But only 10 seconds to go in the round. And, and well, Soto is smart. He just smart. Soto holds on. Oh, that's it. Don't even try to punch. Just tie him up. Big round for Rocky Juarez. Has the comeback begun? Might be a two-point round. Why are you in there with him? Why are you in the middle with him? You see, that's what happens. You have to attack. You have to be firm. Why are you going to exchange punches? Attack, attack, but attack with intelligence. Come on. Maintain that rhythm high. You understand? Okay, you good? Are you good, bro? Beautiful. I want to see it, son. That's why I've been here. Okay? You can do it. Hard punch that Juarez takes early in the round. But then, as they say, you got to cut yourself a new piece of bait and fish a little deeper. There was a big right hand by Juarez that turned it around. You saw the left hook that he landed toward the end of the round. Now let's see what kind of a lift Rocky Juarez has gotten from his big round seven rally. Looks like an abrasion under the right eyelid. What a left hook by Juarez. I'm just amazed that Juarez is firepower it's, it's the same as it was the first round and Soto decides to come back with body shots and nearly breaks Suarez in half with a right hand to the ribcage 
Why isn't Soto just boxing Juarez after a round like the previous one? Look it up. Maybe he likes to fight. Well, if he sparred right, with Morales like for a year, I guess maybe that's why. Soto got away with a low blow. Not a heavy one. Well, at this stage now, Soto is, is need to be boxing because this punching power is, is nowhere near as strong as Juarez is at this stage of the fight. So he can land five or six blows and get caught with one punch and he's going to be in trouble. Juarez is punching too powerful still. Heavy yeah. body shot by Juarez with the right hand. Good left hook. Juarez has come back, continues. Soto not nearly as sharp as he was earlier in the fight. But lands a right hand and a little left hook there. And seizes the initiative again. I think that's what he's best to do. He's not going to box, at least try to kick Juarez back it up because you watch Juarez gets his punching power when he squats and lunges forward. He gets all of his power from his leap. So therefore, you shouldn't let him get set. When he gets set, that's when he's dangerous. Juarez stepped in. Soto beat him to the punch. Landed another left hook that backed Juarez out. Juarez showing great composure after everything he's been through in the fight. Picking his spots pretty well. And this is what Soto needs to continue to do. Keep pushing him back. Taking advantage of his height being so much taller and pushing over top of him. Because once the Juarez gets set, he, he loads up his still very dangerous. Crowd wants to chant Rocky, 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 but they can't get it together. Soto jabbing through Juarez's guard. It looks like Juarez has taken a blow in this round. But he got in a solid uppercut there and a right cross and a left hook combination to the body. Rocky Juarez flurried in the last 10 seconds and seemed again to win the round. He worked on that right break. Put the right hand and break to the left. Boom the body. What do you want to do? Okay. Well, you stop attacking, he attacks. Don't. All right, keep him at a distance. Keep him at a distance. Use combinations. Combinations. You're only throwing one and two punches. Use three punches. Use four. Gambi box numbers in eight may be a bit misleading. Juarez 14 out of 37, Soto 15 out of 85. Soto throwing more than twice as many punches, but it was Juarez in that round who had the quality connects, particularly down the stretch, or so it appeared to me. Break, break. Harold Letterman, on the other hand, gave that round to Soto. Derailing the comeback, at least on Letterman's card. Round nine of a schedule 12. Unbeaten Rocky Juarez coming in with a record of 23 0 and 0, 16 KOs in trouble against unheralded Umberto Soso, Soto of Los Mochis, Mexico. In between rounds, I noticed that Juarez said something to one of his corner guys. He whispered in his ear. Well, I hope it wasn't saying that he hurt it one of his hands. And Soto needs to continue to fight that type of a fight. He has to stay busy, 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 busy. Well, if Juarez has hurt a hand, it doesn't appear it's the left. No, nope, neither hand. He's neither. banging the left hook <laughs> around just as he normally does. Step right here. Stay, no. 
Here's a point deduction from Soto. From Soto, yeah, from the back of the head. So there's a break for Juarez, who needs him. Deduct one point for hitting in the back of the head. Deduct one point, yeah, for in the back of the head. Okay? You got to stop. Stop. Man back in. But I haven't seen anything flagrant. Have you, Emmanuel? No. Nope. No. Nope. Good, good left hook by Soto bangs Juarez back into the ropes. It's a good crackling fight. And Soto seems to want to respond to the point deduction with vigor and aggression to try to win the round and make it 9-9. And the way it's going, that's what's going to happen. I think he'll end up winning this round, so it'll end up being a draw round. Rayon Taveros. Juarez, his trainer, ever since he was a little boy. Rewrapping the glove. Round nine is on the table. Let's see if Rocky Juarez can take a 10-8 round after the point deduction. Suddenly, Soto looks as alert and alive as he was in round one. Body shot by Soto after Juarez got in the left hook. Good left hook by Juarez, and again, Soto walks through it. to go. Come on. He's hitting you with that hook left. Use your right and your left. Bring your hands up a bit. And let's go. I'm with the same thing. Stay near the ring and come in. Let's see if the punch behind the head that was called. Yep. Clean punch behind the head. Or I should say a clean, dirty punch. And there's the hardest punch of the round. Right back. You know you're.